Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Saturday morning service of contemplative communion, brought to you live from the Kirkley Rectory. And I have with me here Don and Dorothy and Robert, and uh, we are going to celebrate uh, in word and sacrament the presence of Christ in our lives. And also today we are commemorating Martin Luther the reformer. Um, when, when I was reading about him, and um, uh, there was one, sent, one paragraph in here which struck me. At some point between 1512 and 1515, Luther the so -called, had his so-called tower experience, which marked a fundamental shift in his theology and faith. Now, at this point, uh, Luther was uh, obviously a Roman Catholic, a Roman Catholic uh, monk and priest. And he had been studying, his, his calling was to actually study theology in, uh, in a deep way. Through studying the scriptures, notably Romans 1.17, which says, the righteous shall live by faith, he came to believe that Christians are saved not through their own efforts, but by the gift of God's grace, which they accept by faith. Once he had grasped this truth, he was transformed from someone fearful of God's wrath into a fearless critic of the church that was failing to teach this fundamental truth. And we probably know that he went on to write his uh, 95 theses, which he hammered onto the door of the church. <laughs> um, and he was really complaining about the, the Roman Catholic Church's uh, practice of selling indulgences. So they were actually raising money by telling people if they paid this money, then they would be guaranteed a place in heaven. And because of this fundamental understanding, which he had come to believe in, uh, he started talking against that. And he didn't, like Jesus, he didn't set out to create a new denomination and a, or a new religion. He set out to reform. But um, the Roman Catholic Church didn't play ball. And so the Reformation happened and there is now Protestantism was, uh, was born from his objections. But I think this is a really powerful, powerful statement. The righteous shall live by faith. And the fact that that transformed Luther from someone fearful of God's wrath into a fearless critic of a church that was failing to teach this fundamental truth. So let us quiet our hearts and minds as we prepare to worship God and uh, stand if you wish, it's up to you. Gather in our hearts, Lord. Bring, bring peace through our words. words. Gather in our hearts, Lord. Bring, bring peace, peace in our listening. Gather in our hearts, Lord. Bring, bring peace through our touch. Gather in our hearts, Lord. Bring peace through our silence. Gather in our hearts, Lord. Bring, bring peace through our lives. The Lord be with you. And the Lord also with you. As we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in word and sacrament, let us call to mind all we have done wrong and ask God to forgive us and make us clean again in his eyes. You raise the dead to life in the spirit Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the broken in heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You make one by your spirit the torn and divided. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. And may the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins Heal and strengthen us by his spirit, and raise us to new life 
in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And let us pray the collect for today. Merciful God, teach us to be faithful in change and uncertainty, that trusting in your word and obeying your will, we may enter the unfailing joy of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And let us be seated for the proclamation of the word. A reading from Psalm 42. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night. While people say to me all day long, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the Mighty One with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. My soul is downcast within me, Therefore I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. All your waves and breakers have swept over me. And let us stand for the Gospel. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Saint Luke. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. When he noticed how the guests picked the places of honour at the table, Jesus told them this parable. When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take the place of honour. For a person more distinguished than you, may have been invited. If so, the host who invited both of you will come to you and say, give this person your seat. Then, humiliated, you will have to take the least important place. But when you are invited, take the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he will say to you, friend, move up to a better place then you will be honoured in the presence of the other guests. For all those who exhort themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you, O Christ. So this is where we come to our time of silent prayer, and we sit in quiet contemplation for as long as the Spirit moves us. Um, we light, uh, there's charcoal here on the altar and we're going to put incense on that charcoal to help raise our prayers to heaven and to cleanse us, to listen to the pure word of God through our prayer. And I invite anyone here, if they wish, to, uh, to place some incense on the coals as well. We do silent prayer, but we, maybe we want to keep in our hearts some things that we are thinking about at this moment. First of all, on this day of commemoration of Martin Luther, we acknowledge that we are a companion diocese to the Diocese of Luleå in Sweden, and in Sweden the National Church is the Lutheran Church. We are also keeping on our hearts Margaret and Yvonne and Jane, and we are praying for the souls of Ellen and Carrie. Let us pray.
O oh Lord, I call to you. Come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let, Let my, my prayer, prayer rise before you as incense. Amen. And I just stand for the peace. We're all one in Christ. We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the spirit of peace. We meet in the name of Christ and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And Lord, also with you. And we share a sign of Christ's peace with each other online. We write peace in the comments below. And here we, we nod, or the new thing that we're <laughs> creating is a wave um, that, that, uh, that I discovered on the, when I was away on vacation. Peace, everybody. We remove the incense before the Eucharist because in this um, in this small space it rather overcomes us <laughs> that the uh, and especially when we get to, that the altar right next to it. incense still lingers. As the grain once scattered in the fields and the grapes once dispersed on the hillside and now reunited on this altar in bread and wine, so Lord may your whole church soon be gathered from the corners of the earth into your kingdom. Amen. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shed our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed, at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do, do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. And as we proclaim his death and resurrection, send your Holy Spirit, that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voices to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. And so let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in the one bread. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. My brothers and sisters in Christ, these are God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. And, um, this is the body of Christ which is given for you. Amen. This is the body of Christ given for you. Amen. This is the blood of Christ, which is shed for us all. Amen.
And because at this time we cannot all receive the sacrament, we say the, commun the spiritual communion prayer. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given us, for all the pains and insults you have borne for us. And since not all of us can now receive you sacramentally, we ask you to come spiritually into our hearts. O oh, most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may we know you more clearly, love you more ne dearly, follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. 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 And let us pray. God of all grace, your Son, Jesus Christ, fed the hungry with the bread of his life and the word of his kingdom. Renew your people with your heavenly grace, and in all our weakness sustain us by your true and living bread, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. In gratitude. In, in deep gratitude for this moment, this meal, we give ourselves to you. Take us out to live as changed people, because we have shared the living bread and cannot remain the same. Ask much of us, expect much from us, enable much by us, encourage many through us. So, Lord, may we live to your glory, both as inhabitants of earth and as citizens of heaven. Amen. And let us stand for the blessing. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. And so, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. And just before we go, to let you know that uh, this weekend, is we the, in the church we celebrate the Feast of All Saints and the Feast of All Souls, when we think about those who have gone before us. And uh, we don't have to go very far into the world of shopping to know that uh, today, the 31st of October, is Halloween. So named because it is indeed All Hallows Eve, or Hallows being All Saints, of course. So the same, tomorrow morning, we will celebrate a, a Eucharist for All Saints, giving thanks for, Eucharist means thanks, so giving thanks for all who have gone before. And this evening, we will have a service in the church at 7 p.m., an even song for the Eve of All Hallows. So if you can't go out trick-or-treating this, this evening, do come to church to find out where Halloween originated. <laughs> at 7 o'clock, uh, last year, we, we, had, uh, we had only been here a month and we had a barbecue in the garden and then some stories in the church afterwards and who could have imagined a year ago what situation we would be in now so let us not allow the current circumstances in the world to stop us celebrating all those people who have lived possibly through even worse situations before so this evening 7 p.m in the church of saint peter and saint john even song in honour of All Hallows' Eve, the true Halloween. Let us go in peace. <laughs>